inquiring minds would like to know Jamal Charlo is he the same a new shocking picture of Jamal Charlo's weight the day before his return fight has fans a bit concerned is Jamal Charlo the same fighter that we seen three years ago that's what I want to talk about in this video what up fight world it's your boy ego and I'm back with some more boxing subscribe to my channel it's free I'm the best in the business and it's not even close so I made a video Jamal Charlo missed weight he came in almost four pounds over the contracted catch weight of 163 in his fight with Jose Benavidez Jr. This, for obvious reasons, is no bueno. It's unprofessional. You agreed to, first of all, the fight was supposed to take place at a catch weight. So you agreed to fight him at a catch weight. So you already had plus three pounds from the division you last campaigned because Jamal Charlo is a champion at middleweight, 160 pounds. So you are already giving and seemingly accounting for your long layoff and absence by giving yourself plus three pounds and making the fight at 163. But you came in over 166 at the weigh-in and they did a second weigh-in about two hours later or so and he weighed even more. So that is just a bad look. Why did you even weigh in the second time if you hadn't shed any pounds? You know, it just, it looks bad on paper. You know, seeing tweets and posts and everyone talking about it, seeing you weighed more the second try. So did you even try to lose the weight in the two hours? And if you didn't, then why even hit the scale? Just be like, I can't make weight. The first weight is what it is. And then negotiate with Jose Benavidez for the penalty. So despite Jamal Charlo missing weight, I want to give you guys the update and then I'll get to the picture in question that you guys seen in the thumbnail. So he missed weight. He negotiated with team Benavidez. They still want to fight him and they still are down to fight Jamal Charlo. Even with this added weight, the only thing is he's going to have to pay them a penalty for this blip and for missing weight. Now, there's more but wait there's more look up Marlon say cheese in the morning they have a separate weigh-in a private weigh-in and Jamal Charlo you know I don't know the exact time that the weigh-in is going to commence but at that second weigh-in Jamal Charlo can weigh no more than 176 pounds so basically 10 pounds roughly 10 pounds from what he weighed at the weigh-in missing the weight he can't in the morning time whenever they do this weigh-in he can't have ballooned up past the 10 pounds which is 176 if he does then he'll pay yet another fine and more money out of his purse so you can see this is getting more and more egregious for Jamal Charlo and costly now, I'm not in charge of Jamal Charlo's life, his finances and things like that, but you do the math. I don't know what business ventures he may or may not have, if he's in real estate, if he owns a donut shop. I don't know those things, but I will say this. You do the math just from the outside looking in. You miss weight, unprofessional. That goes without saying in the world of boxing. You said you can make this contracted weight of 163. You missed it. So that looks bad. If you haven't fought in two and a half, three years, and we know you from boxing, like me personally, I don't know Jamal Charlo, all his finances, and if he made smart investments like Floyd Mayweather, but it looks like as an active fighter, probably the bulk of his money comes from fighting. You haven't fought in two and a half years, and now after almost a three year hiatus, right? you're giving up and forfeiting a chunk of your purse by missing weight so you can see how this is pretty costly and i understand wanting to be on a big card and they wanted to put jose benavidez and david benavidez on the same card but you had to think about these things and be able to make weight 
So another thing that comes to mind for me that didn't age well for Jamal Charlo is this, is that the, I was on the media call, the Zoom call for the Benavidez and Charlo fight. And in it, Jamal Charlo says, I just started camp. No, he says, I haven't started camp yet. I'm going to start tomorrow or something like that. And many people said that Jamal Charlo was just playing around. Jamal Charlo was just being facetious. Jamal Charlo really had started camp and it was skullduggery and the art of art of war and Sun Tzu and all this, the, you know, like 48 laws of power. This was a strategy to catch Jose Benavidez off guard for one. That didn't really make sense because why do you have to catch a guy who started at 140, moved up to 47, got knocked out by Terrence Crawford, lost to Danny Garcia at 54? Why do you have to do all this gamesmanship for a guy who really is smaller than you and is moving up even more weight since the Danny Garcia fight in the Creed movie? Second, even if he was being facetious or joking around or whatever people were saying, it now looks bad because you actually missed weight you missed the mark you missed weight and you missed it by a lot and then we'll see and hear about it tomorrow if you missed the weigh in tomorrow and have to pay even more money so all in all that's a l like even though charlo's undefeated it just doesn't look becoming of the situation a return fight it's pretty disastrous because i know me again i'm not charlo i can't speak for him but for me if I haven't fought in my main profession because of mental health issues or whatever, and I haven't fought in two, three years, I don't want somebody taking a cut of my money. I don't like hands in the cookie jar. Like you already have to give up some money towards taxes and paying trainers and sparring partners and renting houses for fighters who are away from home for their training camp. You know, these different things, nutrition, strength and conditioning guy, maybe some travel expenses whatever and then now you're having to give up other i i i feel like that's free money for jose benavidez not saying he's not training hard or whatever but that's money that was part of your check that you have to give him at least one time because of the negotiation possibly a second time depending on how much you weigh the next day which is tomorrow the day of the fight not a good look now i also noticed that jamal charlo on the scale his physique, it didn't look as chiseled. I've covered several Jamal Charlo fights. I stood next to him after weigh-ins and did media scrums and stuff like that. And he always looks pretty brolic and very athletic shape, athletic physique, chiseled, and he just looks more ripped. This particular one, you could tell he's been out the ring because he didn't look as dialed in. He looked a bit soft in areas and a bit doughy for his sake. Now, is different because there's certain fighters like let's say john molina the one that fought adrian broner that's how he always looks or tyson fury tyson fury fights and can go 12 rounds and he always he doesn't look body beautiful pause but from what we're accustomed to seeing from jamal charlo it's a bit different he always looks pretty in shape this one this is out of all the weigh-ins that i could think of this is the one where he looked the i guess the softest in certain areas so we'll see if that means anything for the actual fight. This picture that you've seen in the thumbnail was a picture that had a lot of fans concerned and they think like Charlo's head looks too big for his body. And, you know, he just doesn't look like the typical Charlo shape that we are accustomed and have been growing accustomed to seeing from Jamal Charlo. So it's been kind of a rough patch for the texas fighters errol spence lost to crawford his brother lost a one-sided fight as well to canelo and then now charlo's facing these dilemmas we'll see how he performs tomorrow but i don't really like fights like this in scenarios because even if he knocks out let's say the best outcome is he did like hugo centeno jr and knocked out jose benavidez people are going to blame it on you coming in overweight so it's like almost a lose-lose situation some of your paycheck is missing you miss weight which looks unprofessional and the best case scenario is you beat jose benavidez or stop him or something which crawford's already done danny garcia already beat him and they didn't have these insane weight advantages over benavidez so even if you win in that fashion people will just say oh it's because you feel me charlo came in heavy but then if you lose 
or if you get dropped or if you get hurt then it's gonna look really bad so all in all it's a great card tune in i'll be doing the watch party subscribe to my channel i'm the best in the business and it's not even close to the mouth introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.